<clears throat> Disappointing. Obviously, we our guys battled after a really slow start. I continued to battle, 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 and um, was able to, you know, force overtime. And then in overtime, we just came up a little short to make made some plays. Uh, you know, Star Jordan was, was really good for us. You know, late in the game and in, in overtime, um, but we just uh, made some some careless mistakes. Uh, just really understanding time and score. Um, Got to make teams make baskets and not allow them to go to the free throw line. Um, just with, with open court fouls and different things like that. But those things that we'll work on and we'll talk about and we'll get better for. Um, you know, you got a lot of play from the bench tonight. You know, what kind of led you to go with some of those lineups? Well, uh, we, we, we weren't rebounding the ball well. Uh, we had zero rebounds from uh, our starting front court in the, in, in the first half. So we tried to give those guys an opportunity to see if we could rebound. It's just too many, you know, second chance opportunities for them. They didn't capitalize on all of them, but it was just, you know, disappointing seeing them, you know, us play good defense for 20, 20 some odd seconds and they take a shot and we not get the ball back. And so it's a minute, so, but this, those guys, they did a better job in the second half and they had a couple rebounds each. Um, and we were maybe one rebound and I think Quentin had two in, in, in the second half, but those, uh, Jermaine, you know, he had, had a lot of energy. He had, had some spring. You know, a little, little more quickness on the floor to get to um, their, their drivers, their penetrators. And, uh, and then T. Frank, just, it's, you know, he was, he was a good rebounder for us. Didn't shoot the ball well offensively, but uh, he definitely rebounded for us. It looked like uh, during a couple of the timeouts, like late in regulation, Scotty was kind of leaning over. Is he, is he battling through something? Yeah, Scotty was a, really a game time decision day. We didn't even know if he was going to play. He, was, uh, he had some bug something and he, when he came over today he was um, throwing up and you know had had it going out, out of both ends so he was it was it was a rough day rough day for scotty today so he uh, but he he battled it and uh, again I, I didn't wasn't even sure if uh, he was going to get back into the game and then i looked over there and he gave me a thumbs up so you know we got him back in there and he, he you know made a big shot to get us to overtime but you know he wasn't himself again like this to, you know, not, not too many times ever you're going to see him, you know, just you know, kind of concentration, you know, there at the top, get, get picked, get, get a couple fouls there, a um, couple turnovers. We had, had a couple turnovers and, and you know, untimely turnovers. I thought we did a good job of taking care of the ball. You know, I only had nine turnovers for the game, but two of those were in, went overtime when you really, when it's winning time and you really need to have that ball security, we, we weren't the, the best that, that, that I feel that we could be. but. We'll work on it. We'll get better at it. But I got, you know, no no complaints about the effort. You know, our guys, you know, after that night, they were saying like nothing was going our way. Um, it wasn't like we were missing threes. We were getting in the paint. You know, we were five for 19 in, in the paint in the first half. So, you know, we feel like over time, we'll, we'll, those shots will, will go down for us, and we can continue to get there. And that's and that's a good thing that we are getting there. Um, just got to convert. Another number uh, that I just kind of want your take on, Jordan had an assist in the first minute of the game. Uh, that was the last team assist to the last minute of, of regulation. Um, just why no assist numbers? Um, and what's kind of your take on that as, as coach? Well, no, I think we were getting in the paint and I think they were, you know, they were so, they felt like they were close enough to make those shots, but I think there were some opportunities for us to, to kick out, you know, and that's what the, our message was in the, you know, at halftime, let's get in the, 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 in the paint and try to uh, make plays for others. You know, I know you feel like you're right there and the guys, you know, on you and it's a play, you know, plays that we work on. Uh, so our, our assist numbers were nowhere near there where they're accustomed to being, but, uh, you know, and I just I just think it was a lot of their switching too. That were you know they, they broke up some of our continuity and some of the plays that we wanted to run, where we you know you know get those assists where we're pinning in and doing those type of things. They switched out on them and took those away, and then it left opportunities late in clocks for guys to drive it. And yeah, you know, just going back in you know in the game, it looked like shots that we're capable of making and just did just didn't make. So you would love to get baskets, you know, assisted baskets. But, you know, tonight, you know, I think we're early on, we had some, some looks that uh, we, we take on most nights and we just didn't get them. Was the uh, the free throw missed by Jermaine that went out of bounds, got Scotty the opportunity to tie the game? Did you design a miss there? Did you call for the intentional miss? Yeah, we told him to, to hit the back of the rim and he hit the front of the rim. <laughs> so we, 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 we'll take it. Normally when it hits the back of the rim, it gives it a little, little more time, a little, 
Um, but it ricocheted off the front of the rear rim. You know, he chased it down. And um, fortunately for us, we you know, got a chance to get it on the baseline. You know, got, got us a good set. And, and Scotty sent it in overtime. Just tough, disappointing, man, because when you, you know, fight back like that and uh, get an opportunity like that at home, come, come in and get the first basket on the, um, you know, get a, get a three-point play, uh, get an opportunity, and then we you know, let them go down and get free throws. Got to make them score a basket instead of um, putting them on the line and letting them get those easy opportunities. They got to got to force them to work for it. But again, some 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 learning things that that we'll get hopefully get better at and um, as the season goes on. But the, disappointing to say the least. I mean, it just felt like that was a uh, this was a game that. You know, we needed to get, thought we would be angry, you know, from, you know, how, how the SMU game um, and ended up. And, you know, we would come out with a whole lot of, you know, energy. And, and maybe it was uh, too much energy, maybe it was, where, where we had a little bit more on on our shots than we needed to be, but we'll, you know, we'll continue to work at it. Anything else for Coach?